Hi there, this is Ranjit and welcome to my YouTube channel that's youtube.com slash Kiki Ranjit and I have the LG Optimus G Pro which is a 5.5 inch smartphone or a phablet if you want to call it and let me place the Galaxy S4 near that and this Galaxy S4 sports a 5 inch screen and this is a 5.5 inch screen and we'll be doing the benchmarking for this uh, Optimus G Pro the specs on this are also very good and let me show you the same via opening the CPU Z application and as you can see it sports a Qualcomm based S4 Pro processor clocked at 1.7 GHz this is a quad core processor based on the Krat architecture so it should be a blazing fast processor and the GPU on this is an Adreno 320 and as you can see uh, the clock frequency is uh, the lowest is 384 MHz and it can go all the way up to 1.73 GHz and let me show you the system board and the board is GKOPEN ESA and the display panel is a full uh, 1080p panel that means it's a full HD panel and it has 2 gigs of RAM so that's for the basic uh, hardware info and let's start with the benchmark let me start with the quadrant and I've already done the quadrant benchmark before that let me show you the system info again and as you can see it's a quad core uh, processor and it has 2 gigs of RAM and this is the GPU information as uh, shown it's a full 1080p panel that means the resolution is 1080 by 1920 and these are the sensors the good thing is that if you notice LG did not skimp on sensors it has all the sensors now let me show you the quadrant scores so as you can see these are the quadrant scores and uh, our LG Optimus G Pro is at the top it got a score of 12,101 which is an impressive score let me give you a quick breakup the total is 12,101 out of that the CPU got a score of 38,102, memory is 11059, IO is 8583, 2D is 500 and 3D is 2259. So again a very impressive score. I also ran the Antutu benchmark so let's have a close look at that. And we got a score of 19,498. I actually expected that this uh, Optimus G Pro might get uh, scores uh, above 20,000 or so but this is what we get and these are the detailed scores. Again uh, for a comparison the Samsung Galaxy S4 the Octo-Co version gets uh, an Antutu score of around 28,000. Also I ran the Geekbench and let me show you the scores for that and as you can see this is the system information and let me show you the scores now and these are the Geekbench scores again pretty decent I would say also let me also run this uh, uh, what do you say classic uh, for example let me go to the download Nina Mark 2 I know that's not uh, very relevant right now because it's a very old benchmark but let me just quickly run it and I'll show you the scores So as you can see uh, the benchmarking is almost done and we should get a max score of around 60 yeah almost 60 fps that's 59.8 fps that we are getting on the Nina max score again it will be at the top now let me also run this epic citadel this will test the gpu performance and this test does take some time so need to be patient So I'll just run the benchmarks for this one and show you the total scores. So most of the part I would say it's hovering around the 60 FPS mark, about 58 to 60 if you look at it over here. And the benchmarking is done and as you can see the resolution is full HD and we get a very impressive score of 57.7 FPS. That's a very good score. So let me get out of this one. 
I'll also be doing a gaming review with this LG Optimus G Pro because uh, as I always say benchmarks just give you half the story. So I'll be doing casual gaming and even some high end gaming with this Optimus G Pro. So if you aren't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to the same. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.